Oh, Virgo. <laughs> this is quite, quite, quite the reading. Okay, so Virgo, you're coming into this. Uh, this is your energy. This is their energy, okay? So as we look at your energy, you're coming into this situation in this relationship for which you've come to inquire about as somebody who has a committed relationship. Your person sees you as married. Virgo, here you are in your reading. You are a hermit. Your person views you as a hermit. So what we see is that you are looking at a cycle of somebody that you worked with, somebody with whom you have had a lover's relationship and you still want that lover's relationship. I feel for many of you, you know, you're married and you've had a queen of wands lover on the side. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check out your rising Venus and um, Jupiter, your moon rising Venus and Jupiter signs. But what we're seeing here is from your viewpoint, you have a wife, you have a life. That's as far as this relationship can go. You may work with this person. You want equal give and take. You have very deep feelings for your person. Um, it does show that you have a, a fair amount of love and affection for them, Scorpio. We see that you feel very much like you're limiting the growth of the relationship. These are, in your viewpoint, in your person's viewpoint, they know, you both know, that this relationship will not go any further than what it is right now. We look at your person as being very hurt, very wounded. They feel as though they've given a lot to the relationship. You don't really tell them how you feel, so what they're feeling is a sense of loss, disappointment, sadness. They feel as though you're, they're not really sure whether you want to continue on with them. Look at this. We have all of these doubles from two different decks. Okay, we have the Hermit energy here. This is you really thinking about the future, taking time to think about this. Your person is feeling defensive. You're feeling defensive. Your person, you feel like this is as far as it can go. This is your, as far as your person thinks it can go. Very interesting. Okay. So when we look at the energy that is hidden, you're very much in this player energy. Like, hey, I'm going to come and I'm going to go and we'll have a great time. And your person is like, wow, this, isn't, this is painful for me. This is really painful. I think I need to let this go. Judgment card, Scorpio energy. You're coming in again with this three of coins. Your person, again, I do think you work together or you've worked together. I, I think you've worked together and you've worked together. Okay, so what I'm seeing here with the three of coins and the eight of coins, Virgo, is this is your energy. So I do feel as though the two of you will keep working together. And the outcome of this relationship is that your person still wants you, although they think that they should stop the relationship. And you want them, the lover's card. A decision is made to proceed with the relationship. At the bottom of the deck, your energy is a devil energy. Look at this. The, your, what you're offering this person is... You know, looks like for many of you, you're very attractive. You're very accustomed. For some of you, you're very accustomed to this sort of people chasing you or, you know, wanting you. But we're getting that the offer that you made this person had strings attached. It comes with a cost. It could be vice versa. I'm going to say straight out, many of you, this might be a cross watchers video. I don't know. But I'm getting that whatever you offer this person has strings attached and it isn't all that healthy for your person. It also shows when we look at the bottom of the deck for you that, you know, you're not really offering much. The page of cups is a smelly fish in a cup. You're offering this to somebody who's a pretty substantial person, okay? And it becomes a burden for this person. So I would say that, you know, this person may leave you, might have left you. It uh, does look like there's a lot of love between the two of you that happened very unexpectedly. 
So when we look at their energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords energy. That's the Libra Queen. You might be dealing with the Libra, but what we're seeing here is that your person feels they were willing to put up with, and they are willing to put up with being your lover, but it has wounded them. You have really hurt their feelings. It shows that they feel like their heart has to heal. They feel disappointed. They, you probably gave them more than they feel you gave them, but I'm getting your person just doesn't see a future in this. They're going to just um, go along, go along to get along. The two of you will keep working together. It's a very much a status quo relationship reading, I think. I don't think there's a lot of change here. I am going to look at the wisdom of the oracle for you, Virgo, and see what the wisdom and the advice is for this particular reading. Let's look and see. All right, from the wisdom of the oracle, tell us something about this relationship that Virgo's having. Uh, the yin energy. So you're very, very drawn to this person's femininity. You're very drawn in. You know, you're also in a mood of being very receptive. There is a fork in the road. So this is going to, it's under scrutiny right now. The fork in the road is also the lover's energy. The lover's energy can mean that a choice needs to be made. But you are choosing as the weekend. You're choosing that, you know, to really want to make love with this person. The two of you have an intense attraction to each other. I feel as though there's something a little bit compulsive about it with that devil energy coming more from you than them, actually. Poised. Okay, so you're poised. You're ready. Um, let's get advice here. Let's get some advice from Island Time Wellness. Okay. What is the advice here for our beautiful Virgo friends? A lot of very powerful energy here, Virgo. Both of you really want each other. It looks like you fell in love, even if you didn't. If, even if it wasn't official. <laughs> I don't think it was, but okay. So we have the chaser. Chaser is in codependent relationship. The fear of abandonment issues. So here's what we see as a toxicity. Is that Virgo, what I think you want or need is to play like, you know, games and have fun. And I'm seeing that your person's not on the same page. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So what I'm seeing, Virgo, is that in terms of the devil energy, we're seeing a toxicity because it's like you want to play this chaser game with your person and it is something that you've done historically in the past. Your person is not a chaser. You're dealing with a queen of wands energy. She's not a chaser. She's much more likely to be this sort of Judge Judy and cut the relationship off. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay, so what we're seeing here is advice from Spirit is saying that the two of you should just have fun, enjoy yourselves, take care of yourselves, and not take any of this too seriously. Well, okay, so what we have, the last Oracle card says, heart with a key. The two of you really do love each other. It says, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So what we're seeing here is an energy for you that you really wanted an intensely player, 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 player activity. You wanted to feel good. You, you wanted the seduction. You were looking for something more sort of egocentric than you were something really at, at a deeper level. So that's what I see. So Virgo, I guess, you know, the future is up to the two of you. Send me a love and light. Hope it was helpful. If this is a vice versa reading, please let me know in the description box. I mean, in the comments. Thank you so much, Virgo. Bye-bye.